ఎవరూ నిస్సే ఇంకెన్ పుట్ లైట్ ఆన్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆర్ బికమింగ్ ద ఇర్ రెడ్యూసిబుల్ నో ఇట్ నెవర్ హ్యాపెన్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఐ సే దాట్ యూ నో సమ్ టైమ్స్ బికాస్ దెర్ ఇస్ నో అదర్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ సిన్స్ దెర్ ఇస్ నో సెపరేషన్ బిట్వీన్ ద ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ అండ్ ద ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ సార్ వాట్ ఈస్ వాట్ కెన్ వీ సే ఇన్ లాంగ్వేజ్ అండర్ ద లిమిట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇంటలాక్ట్ ఈజ్ దట్ ద ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఈజ్ ద ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ సార్ వెన్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఎస్ సీన్ ఇన్ టైమ్ అండ్ ఎస్ సీన్ ఎస్ ఇట్ రెడ్యూసిబుల్ it is that which is the experience around me at the level of non duality what can we say is that that which is appearing you know whatever we call as irreducible is it separate from me no and the intellect stops there because it sees uh, it as separate but cannot comprehend what is happening so i am the space that becomes the irreducible appears for a while and then dissolves you can picture it as freezing air now and this is only metaphor do not think that it is true there is no i mean no comparison at all but our intelli- intelligence has a limit what is happening when i say that when you see the red you become the red now how to comprehend this at the level of non duality that is what is there isn't it no separation between the red and that which witnesses the red there is nobody no nothing there which witnesses and there is nothing there which, which appears as red so already beyond intellect it's already beyond intellect you can be that you can be the red and you you can be the witness of the red and you can be the same two things at the same time yes i am that but how to understand it you know there is a metaphor of freezing air imagine you are the air now there a part of the air freezes and takes on a shape it becomes let us say a human body it turns into some part of the some parts of the air the freeze and they turn into a statue of a human man you are the air you have frozen you have become the frozen statue now it's not going to last the air becomes air again flows again so since you are air you are universal you are everywhere you know and these forms they keep appearing in you it's frozen holograms frozen images they are not frozen permanently they then dissolve into air this is a very good metaphor which those who have visualization you know skills they will be able to see it immediately the things appear in me they appear to be solid for a while solid does not mean solid matter you see they take a shape they take a form for a while and then they dissolve isn't that happening all the time yes so i am becoming everything i am becoming all the forms all the, that is non essential part of the air the essential part of the air is being air the substance of the air the form appears there a solidified substance because it is not there because it's fake it cannot stay and because air is always moving it is dissolved same way i am the existence which is emptiness and this emptiness takes forms it has all the possibilities because it is emptiness you see <laughs> nothing binds it and it takes not only one form at one time it takes countless forms eternally that is how it is the dream is the dreamer and the dreamer is the dream so it is very beautiful mind blowing amazing and everything that is what everything is that is what your first chapter in the program says isn't it you know this much the solid air metaphor don't need program <laughs> don't need anything so all details after this too much detail this this thing is so simple and so so beautiful do not try to picture it from a third person point of view you know you become the air and see what happens now why did i say air not like space like everybody else you know great gurus always say gagano opanam i am like the sky i am like the space no our intellect intellect does not have the capacity to imagine that space taking a form all the you can your intellect will resist and it will say oh there is nothing there take form so air give it a substance such a minute substance subtle substance and then then the intellect is no problem imagining that the air particles are coming together and they're forming an image you can touch it you can be it you can move it around then you dissolve it you can imagine you can animate this thing like this and do it two three times and you will know how the experiencer becomes the irreducible <laughs> that that much can be done yes only this much can be done there is no other way to know it except being it and you are already that 
already you are already doing it you are becoming everything and you are also dissolving it unbecoming since it is not happening in time we say nothing happens nothing really happens now the more you think about it the more you try to grasp it it will be totally ineffective that is running the engine without uh, putting the car in gear if ineffective this much is okay so this human form is me <laughs> finally <laughs> you say you can relax you are under stress for the whole day because i told you to be not the body not the person not the mind and now you are so tense where should i put this body now <laughs> looks like that i'm stuck with it many people complain that day i got a phone from somebody i know everything but i i don't feel like i'm separate from the body that means you don't know the whole thing you know only half you know up to the duality what about non duality non duality says i am the body <laughs> accept it you're not stuck you are it you have taken this form solidified for a while is nothing solid there you see all illusion when you dream in the night there is a body isn't it there is a world there are relatives and all the drama is there when you wake up do you feel like i was stuck there there will be a feeling for 5 minutes possible but is you are stuck in that body with these people in this scenario in the dream yes that is momentary it is your own will that has given that form to you and you are everything there you are not only that dream person you are everything in the dream that is what you know after waking up you don't say that you know the buildings were brought from my neighborhood and the people were my friends they came in my dream from outside it is all you after waking up you say i became the dream but you know do people don't go to that extent this they are capable of saying i saw the dream we never go into non duality that much is a uncharted territory you see so we remain in our familiar duality where we are the boss here and we say i am the witness of what is happening is more natural somehow to say that those who are in advait vedant they will say like this those who are in the buddhism or other non dual fields they will they will just say emptiness you see they feel uncomfortable in saying i am the experiencer what about the other they will say what about the mind like the buddhist person will say then because both are not me they say no i am not going to even use this word i they hate the word i so drop it no need because that is what i like you know the word i has a power in it because immediately puts you into the stage of iness when i say emptiness takes the form you are going to imagine some kind of scenario when i say you take the form then there is it's more is nearer to what is really happening when i say you are the brahman it has bigger impact on the ego than simply saying you are the emptiness nothing <laughs> that also has a effect on the ego and the ego is shocked like he was saying so whatever you prefer call it emptiness call it me call it i it's all one oneness it is appearing like this beyond intellect what can you do surrender become the witness it is not that it has become like this today it it was always like this and it will be always like this no no i want more yes it is already more no i want less it is already less what are you doing be peaceful <laughs> stop doing so we'll stop doing here we'll end the satsang here and hopefully all questions were cleared and i'll see you in the next satsang surely it repeats thank you everybody for attending to this satsang